Mary Povey's essay delves into the interplay of ideology and style in the literary works of Mary Wollstonecraft, Mary Shelley, and Jane Austen, examining how these influential women writers navigated societal norms and gender expectations of their time. The essay explores the tension between the concept of the proper lady and the woman writer's challenge to conventional ideologies. Povey contends that Wollstonecraft, Shelley, and Austin each negotiate this tension through their distinct literary styles, using their works as a platform to critique and challenge societal norms. Starting with Wollstonecraft, Povey examines how her writing embodies a fusion of radical ideas and a conventional writing style. Wollstonecraft's groundbreaking work, A Vindication of the Rights of Woman, challenged the prevailing notion of women's inferiority. Povey argues that Wollstonecraft strategically employed a familiar style to deliver her radical ideas, thus making her arguments more accessible to a broader audience. This juxtaposition of radical content within a conventional style underscores Wollstonecraft's skillful negotiation between societal expectations and her revolutionary beliefs. Moving on to Mary Shelley, Povey analyzes Shelley's renowned work, Frankenstein. She highlights Shelley's utilization of Gothic elements to critique societal norms. Shelley's narrative, according to Povey, serves as a vehicle to explore the consequences of unchecked scientific progress and societal rejection. Shelley's unconventional narrative style and portrayal of complex characters challenged the established gender roles and societal expectations prevalent during her time. In the case of Jane Austen, Povey focuses on Austen's subtle subversion of societal norms through her novels like Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility. Austen's narrative style, characterized by wit and irony, serves as a tool to critique the limitations imposed on women in her society. Povey argues that Austen's heroines navigate the constraints of their social environment with intelligence and agency, subtly challenging the expectations placed upon them. Throughout the essay, Povey emphasizes the importance of analyzing not only the content but also the style of these women's works. By intertwining ideology with style, these authors effectively communicated their dissenting views while operating within the confines of societal norms. Moreover, Povey's exploration highlights how these writers navigated the fine line between conformity and dissent. They strategically employed different literary styles to package radical ideas within familiar narratives, making their works more palatable to a wider audience. This approach allowed them to challenge prevailing ideologies while simultaneously engaging with and navigating societal expectations. In conclusion, Povey's essay elucidates the intricate relationship between ideology and style in the works of Wollstonecraft, Shelley, and Austin. These women writers skillfully wielded their literary prowess to challenge and critique societal norms, offering alternative perspectives through their narratives while working within the constraints of their time. Their ability to merge radical ideas with familiar styles remains a testament to their enduring influence on literature and societal discourse. <laughs>